Oh, hello, this is Tak Chung from Walk with Tak. Uh, in this video, I would like to provide some clarification on the topic of processed food. A processed food is a broad category of different food ingredients. Uh, to have understanding of different types of processed food, it's important to know what to avoid. A processed food in these days has gotten a bad name, and I'm guilty of that as well because I always use the phrase cook with all fresh and unprocessed ingredients. In truth, we could not avoid processed food uh, because everything we eat, in some degree, they are processed both now as well as in human history. In this video, I would like to make the distinction of processed food that is essential to our human survival as well as processed food that is harmful to us. Uh, in many ways, uh, human culture and civilization are built on processed food. By able to convert our crops into flour and rice, it allows us to survive the winter. Uh, by curing meat and fermenting different types of products, uh, human society are able to uh, prevent food from spoiling, as well as create flavor and texture that is important for cuisines around the world. Uh, this type of food processing is integral to human culture and tradition, uh, not the type of food processing that most of us consider today uh, to be harmful. Uh, the type of processed food uh, that is considered to be harmful uh, are those that you can eat directly out of the package, and they are often referred to as convenient food. A convenient food is also known as ultra-processed food. Uh, they are the product of science and technology innovations. Uh, they are also the triumph of manufacturing perfection. Uh, they are engineered with such precision and uh, uniformity that all the products are the same. Uh, every bite of Cheeto tastes exactly the same, and every hostess Trinkies should have the same texture, and every Big Mac should be the same whether you are in Paris or in Mumbai. Uh, Ultra processed food uh, definitely have their advantage. Uh, they have indefinite shelf life, uh, they are inexpensive, and they are uniform. Uh, Ultra-processed food also are the cheapest food to produce. Uh, they are the most profitable sector in the food industry due to their huge scale. Uh, they use agricultural products such as soybean and corn that are highly subsidized, and they are very inexpensive. Ultra-processed food is also most flavorful. Uh, they have universal acceptance across ethnic and national boundary. Uh, they are often referred to as hyper-palatable. Here is where science and culinary meet uh, to create food that are instinctively flavorful uh, due to our human evolutionary history. Uh, however, ultra-processed food has some serious consequences. Uh, humans instinctively love sweetness, saltiness, and fat uh, because they represent sugar, salt, and fat, uh, which are essential for our survival. Uh, until recently, uh, these food ingredients are only available to early humans uh, on an irregular basis. Uh, once we uh, confront them, we gorge ourselves. Uh, this is a survival strategy to combat seasonal variations of food supplies, uh, particularly for those individuals who live in the area with harsh winter. Uh, we can see many animals uh, bulk up before winter. Uh, even our kitties will eat more during the fall when super palatable food is available to us 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, our satiation switch often bypass lead to overconsumption of calories. Uh, another problem of ultra-processed food is that in order to simplify the manufacturing process, uh, the food ingredients is often reduced. Uh, even by adding uh, nutritional supplements, uh, they could not replace the complexity of natural ingredients. Uh, when I mentioned the avoidance of uh, processed food, uh, I need to clarify that I am talking about avoidance of ultra-processed food. I hope this information is useful and not too technical. Uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you'd like to receive notification of my future video postings. I'll see you next time.